Hello my beauty family, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. Let's do this. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user name. Today guys we're gonna review a super fresh new launch from Patrick Ta. Patrick Ta just came out with new foundation. It looks so so cool. I'm so excited because I do like the duo blushes he has. He loves combining cream and powder and I'm so excited about this. I had an early access because I'm a Rouge member so I was able to order foundation and new brush from Patrick Ta and guys you will never believe those items arrived on the next day from Sephora. On the next day. What just happened? So today we're going to check out new Patrick Ta major skin cream foundation and finishing powder and dual ended complexion brush that he launched specifically for this product and those items were launched on 30th of august i'm so excited so let's not waste any time let's dive right into this. So guys, why this foundation actually got me? First of all, I'm so excited to see how foundation from Patrick Ta would look like. Just because the formulas I've tried so far are just amazing. I mentioned already blush duo and the color I picked is second, the lightest one. It's called Fair 2. So the thing is, Fair 1 was cool rose tone and Fair 2 was neutral. Honestly, this neutral looks kind of deep for me, but let's hope it's gonna work out for us. I still have something left from my self tanner. <laughs> And in this compact, you're getting 12 grams of cream foundation and 9 grams of uh, powder. The thing is about this, it must be so easy for you to carry in your purse and that, you know, even by applying everything with a beauty blender or even small compact brush, you would just kind of buff this cream formula all over your face and then set it with this translucent powder. Um, I'm so excited. I do feel like it may be a really, really good launch, so I can't wait to dip my brush into this. This product made in USA and it does have 12 months of a shelf life. And the packaging reminds me of um, his contouring duos and also blush duos. I've already mentioned he likes combining cream and powder formula. What I don't like about this is that the packaging keeps all the fingerprints and it's basically a mirror so you can see everything. This is quite interesting. So showing this on the camera, you basically will see whatever is behind or you guys will see just my fingerprints which is not quite enjoyable to be completely honest this product has 24 shades and wow guys i haven't told you i can't believe i haven't told you yet this product retails for 52 dollars so 24 colors not a lot i've seen people already complain about the color range i'm not sure will this shade work for me but we're gonna give it a shot hopefully it will work it's the lightest neutral we can get but there are so many formulas on the market where i can't find neutral undertone in a light shade range um i'm sure a lot of people struggling with deeper skin tones as well there are so many undertones that are just not presented in foundation range but we are so spoiled guys because nowadays big companies launch insane amount of color so hopefully you will find a good match in foundation that you like i need sometimes mix two colors to get my color lately i've been using new lancome foundation and i'm so upset just because i'm playing with 105w which is warmer tone and 115c which is cooler tone and i'm combining those two together to get my custom color i'm so mad just because i would get this foundation in a full size i'm just playing with samples so far um it just works so nicely if you guys got your shade in the foundation definitely check this out i don't know why i'm doing this it's not sponsored in any way i'm just i've just been loving that and i'm so upset my color is not there so today we're gonna apply this foundation i'm gonna check out throughout the day with you and show how it works throughout the day i'm dry and i've read that this foundation is good for normal combo and oily skin uh, a little bummed but to be completely honest i feel like my skin can handle this even though i'm dry i moisturized like 40 minutes ago when i came back from my workout and i did apply before my primer serum from dasha denona that 
gives you such a beautiful glow and plumping effect so I do feel like my skin is ready then I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna come back after to check on you and tell you my final thoughts about this foundation is it worth the hype is it worth the money should we get this should we skip this what should we do so if you're interested in this launch just keep watching and I think I'm gonna tell you a few words about uh, his brush that I picked up as well so expensive though but I do like the whole concept of this and honestly I've heard so many good things about Patrick Ta brushes it is cruelty free and vegan the bristles are synthetic so it's so easy for you to buff foundation I'm usually using my beauty blender but I'm always open for new good brushes I love brushes and I have quite a bit that I don't use but I personally just love collecting them so we have rounded dome from one side that's kind of gonna help us to blend cream product and then we have tulip shade fluffy tip over here for a powder so when he was applying this foundation on a model it looked so beautiful he was kind of like buffing it all over in circular motions and kind of upwards it looked so easy it looked beautiful I got caught on this like skin like finish so I'm here I'm gonna dip my brush into this cream formula and let's try to cover my redness because I have quite a bit so I'm I'm basically gonna buff it really really light-handed oh that may be a good color I must say guys it does have a scent but it's really really light and honestly I'm loving this brush oh my oh my I do have some pimples coming out I don't know what's the reason it may be because of my period is coming or maybe I just ate too many candies which is also possible I want to build like solid medium coverage with this foundation and I'm working on that so far it's blending just beautifully I love it And then I like to blend this a little bit towards my neck area just to, you know, make the whole look cohesive. And I'm just really lightly buffing this, trying to do like really light-handed circular motions. It did oxidize a little bit, so I can't quite get rid of my redness on the nose. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my beauty blender. I'm gonna dip my beauty blender in this foundation and I'm gonna tap just on my nose area and then I'm gonna kind of like go around to smooth out everything. Oh my god, this foundation just seems like I'm not wearing anything. It does look so, so good. I don't know, guys. Can you see through the camera? This looks just so damn smooth. I want to add a little bit of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Just two dots from each side. And I'm going to blend it with my Beauty Blender. I want it to be really, really nice, like natural coverage. I don't want it to be crazy overkill. <laughs> And then I'm gonna switch to other side of this brush and I'm gonna dip this brush into this powder and really lightly I'm gonna tap this powder basically on my T-zone. I'm usually not getting super oily, but I wanna set my concealer. Okay guys, so that's how my face looks after this foundation being applied. I do appreciate really, really natural, beautiful skin-like finish. I like it a lot. I can tell that I may get a little cakey, even though this is such a beautiful, lightweight finish. I do have something going on here that's not quite good looking, so I guess we'll see how it's gonna work throughout the day. I do really like that fact that he's kind of like mentioning that your skin has to be hydrated and plumped because cream formula is usually a little bit heavier than liquid. It's heavier for your skin, but you can build really flawless, beautiful finish but honestly i really like how it looks so far so let me do my makeup real fast and we'll talk afterwards i want to do my eyes basically i want to do my eyebrows and then we're gonna apply together i think bronzer blush and maybe a little bit of highlighter to kind of see how it's gonna blend on the top of this foundation so yeah guys let me do my eyebrows and eyes and i'll be right back with you okay guys so that's my final look that i created today super simple super nice kind of having this dolly wipe i'm just in the mood for that today but anyway guys i do want to grab my nars laguna bronzing cream and i have laguna 01 so just because I applied that powder from Patrick Todd just on a T-zone, I still can play with this bronzer. So I'm gonna bronze my face using this cream bronzer just because I do know how easy it is to apply this product. Do 
Oh, I'm loving that. That looks so good. And I do have LAU Obsessive Pants. This is like a trio. And I do like this blush. It looks so cute. So I'm gonna use this one today. It's also a cream blush. And then I'm gonna set my face. Okay guys, so I'm just obsessed with how my complexion turned out to look. I do really like it, it's so natural, it's so beautiful. So far the only one concern I have is that my nose, I wasn't able to cover my nose, I had to build the coverage, but I was able to do this, which is really nice. This brush, guys, I'm telling you, so, so nice, so easy to apply, it just, the bristles are amazing, so damn expensive, but it works amazingly. Love it, love it so much. I do really, really hope that it's gonna wear throughout the day really nicely, so I can recommend this to you guys. But so far, I'm obsessed with my complexion. I'm loving this so much. And you know, guys, Patrick Ta and the story, whole story of his success, and the fact that he's a Vietnamese immigrant, and uh, I feel just so inspired. I'm from Ukraine, and I do feel like there is a beautiful story for every one of us, right? Something is waiting, but you just need to work for this. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna check out with you throughout the day. I'll show you how everything looks throughout the day. And just stay with me, so we will see how my foundation will look after the whole day of working. It's gonna be around 10 p.m., so I'm gonna give it a good, good wear test. But you know me, I love doing crazy wear test because, you know, our life is busy. We need to see how everything would look at the end of the really crazy, busy Hey guys, so I'm checking out on you while I'm in the car. It's been two hours since I'm wearing this foundation. And to be honest, I think I really like it. It does look really natural. Sorry, my hands are shaky, but it does look really natural. I'm trying to show you up close. Yes, you see my skin through this and honestly, I really like it. So, so far so good. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's currently 10, 27. I'm so done with this day. I'm about to go get ready and go to sleep. It's been a hell of a day. So I have a lot of things actually to tell you about this foundation. I was looking at my face throughout the day. I got a lot of feedbacks from people around me. How does my complexion look in general? I must say, I'm really, really impressed with this formula. I did really enjoy how my skin looked throughout the day. I think that this is a great formula. I have so many but, but, but uh, for you guys, especially if you're thinking about buying this. So first of all, my skin does look pretty good and it's the end of the day, the end of the crazy day. Just trust me on that. That was a really busy day. I do have 15,000 steps today. It's been a day and I felt like my skin changed a little bit throughout the day. So my main concern was not to look cakey um, and not to be sticky. So this powder actually helped me with that. If you want to get any coverage from this powder, I'm gonna uh, make you a little bit sad just because it's not the powder that's gonna cover your face. It's more for, you know, touching up, for, you know, setting your makeup, to touch up your T-zone maybe throughout the day or just you know set your under eye makeup or if you're super oily to kind of like blur your face to get rid of that excess of oil the thing is for me I got a little bit red I don't know will camera show this so this color is gonna be my perfect color really soon but still I feel like it was a little bit too cool for me so the color may not be perfect for me but I was impressed the way it blended it was so enjoyable applying this product with this brush though the brush is so expensive as for a brush but oh my those bristles are synthetic and um, it just you're blending this by using circular motions you're kind of like buffing it and it just melts into your skin. This is such a beautiful product. I'm telling you, this combo is just insane. I do appreciate the coverage it has. It gives you such a beautiful skin-like finish. It glides on so easily. It just, you know, blurs all your imperfections, this cream formula. The only one problem I had for my specific face, I did have redness on my nose. Usually it's really hard for me to get rid of this unless it's a really solid medium coverage. I had to kind of get Beauty Blend 
under and build that coverage. So that's probably the only one problem I had. But let's discuss, will it actually work for you with different skin types? So if you have dry or a normal skin, what I would recommend you and what Patrick Ta actually mentioning all the time, the first number one rule, moisturize your face. Do like a good solid hydrating moment there. If you will hydrate your skin, if it's gonna be so plumped, if it's gonna be glowy, it's gonna be smooth, this cream formula is gonna just go like right in. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna glide on smoothly. And if you will touch up this with your beauty blender, it's just gonna look flawless. I would kind of touch your face with this powder just on areas that you feel may get oily. I wouldn't go crazy just because, you know, people with dry skin, we do need some oil. There is some oil that we actually need to have on our face because we don't have the excess that our skin is producing, so it's a little bit different. But if you have combination or oily skin, wow. I mean, still moisturize and prep your skin for this product, but it just... I feel like that's it, guys. That's, that's just beautiful. I'm loving this a lot. I do feel like I would suggest you guys to pick this up. I'm gonna keep wearing this for a few more days. If I will change my mind, I'm gonna let you know uh, in one of my next videos or even I'm gonna update you guys under this video. And the thing is about this product, it just how easy it is to use. It just, I don't know guys, it's just so damn easy. And the way how it's blending, the way how it looks throughout the day, it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful skin-like texture. I do highly suggest you to prep your skin before applying this and obviously use some good makeup, set your face afterwards and just, you know, touch up with that powder. If you're not gonna pick up this brush, just use Beauty Blender. Use another brushes you like using with your foundations, with cream formulas. Just, you know, play with this. I do feel like you're gonna enjoy it a lot. So yeah, I'm impressed. If you've tried this product, definitely leave me your thoughts down below and let me know how do you feel about this. Please take my tips about prepping your skin. I really highly suggest you to do this. Also, if you want full coverage, I don't think you're gonna get full coverage from this foundation. You can build it to solid medium but if you want a full coverage, this guy is not for you. If you want this like seamless finish, almost undetectable finish, this product is gonna help you to achieve that. Okay guys, so I wasn't planning filming this part, but it's the second day when I'm wearing this foundation from Patek Ta and I've been loving this. It looks really good. So I was experimenting with another primer that was less hydrating and my skin does look a little heavier. So I would recommend you to hydrate your skin, just like I mentioned before, but I'm loving it. I mean, look at my skin. It does look really good. So it's the end of my working day, but I'm so excited to tell you that you know, guys, you should give it a shot. I really, really like it. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. I had so much fun filming this video and, you know, just observing how my skin was changing throughout the day. I got so many compliments. A lot of people noticed that my skin looked really nice. My skin looked glowy within and I think that my primer serum from Natasha Denona helped with that. I do feel like it's a really, really solid launch and I'm really, really excited to keep using this. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. I will be really happy to have you guys in my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell because I'm not posting my videos on Wednesday and Saturday anymore. So if you want to know when my next video will be on, definitely hit that notification bell. And yeah, guys, thank you for staying with me today. I'm going to wash my face and go to sleep. I have really hard day coming up tomorrow. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.